would like to felicitate someone who's very special to us, someone who has meant a lot to me personally, a lot to a lot of us on the team as well in an individual capacity, but also to the industry. And uh, we are calling this our very special honor. Again, it's not one that we will do every year. I just want to clarify that. Uh, please take a look at the AV. It's the journey that determines leaders, the clarity of thought that makes you the magnet of any conversation. The ideas and the out-of-box thinking that grabs everyone's attention and takes you to the pinnacle of success. From humble beginnings in the town of Harpalpur, Madhya Pradesh, to earning his B.Tech in mechanical engineering from IIT Kanpur, and finally receiving a doctorate from Cornell University, Dr. Pavan Goenka has become a flag bearer for the auto industry. His 14 years with General Motors in the Research and Development Center in Detroit saw him grow from strength to strength and then apply all of that knowledge at Mahindra & Mahindra. He joined as a general manager in the R&D center and helmed the development of the Scorpio, which since then has become a household name. From COO to president to executive director to managing director, Dr. Goenka has donned many hats and steered business in the direction of the future. But for him, it was not just about one company, but about the industry. He's helmed the Society of Indian Automobile Manufacturers and is the chairman of the CII mission on Atmanirbhar Bharat. The big push for safety equipment to be standardized in cars in 2014 and of course his commitment to bring in more such features regardless of the variant are all efforts to make the industry efficient and progressive. He's walked many a mile, always leading from the front. And for his contribution, Car and Bike confers him with the Paramshresht Award. They all call him Doctor. I haven't been lucky to be able to call him Pavan. I am immensely, immensely proud and happy to have him here on the stage. That is all yours. And before I ask you to speak uh, to us today, Pavan, look at that. Wonderful. Uh, I have a special message for you. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a surprise we prepared. So, ladies and gentlemen, one more look at the screen, please. Congratulations. Today, I wanted to share the three qualities or traits that uh, I'm quite jealous uh, that uh, my father, Dr. Goenka, possesses, and I don't. Uh, so the first is, you know, he somehow always manages to find time uh, to help family, to help friends. The second is uh, he really never seems to get tired. Um, so there have been several instances when he would come back home at 2 or 3 a.m. from uh, an international flight and, you know, wake up the next morning at 7.30, go to the gym, exercise, um, and, you know, be off to work by 8.30 or 8.45. And I think the third thing is, um, you know, just he never really gets stressed about almost anything. And so while he uh, is fully engaged uh, during a particular discussion, I think once it's over, he somehow just manages to, you know, switch his mind to the ne next task and the next activity that needs his attention. Uh, these three things that uh, I really value and uh, respect and hope that I'm able to imbibe uh, even a small percentage of that uh, over the next few years. Congratulations again. That was Puneet Goenka and very special words. Wanted to just surprise you with that and many, many congratulations. It's a, a special honor for us, and I'm going to get you a mic. Hang on one second. All right, there it is. Please. I know it's uh, getting late, and everyone, including me, is hungry. <laughs> but this is something that happens, I guess, once in a lifetime for somebody. So do give me five minutes of your time to talk about a couple of things. Before I talk about the honor that you've given me today, Sid, uh, let me just start off by saying that uh, we all must thank you for doing this award physically. 
uh, this award show because we have all attended many virtual events, but virtual is virtual. The excitement that physical creates is very different. I also want to talk about the three individual awardees, uh, just a uh, little bit uh, that were there before me today. Pawan Munjal, Visionary Award, very well deserving. I remember that when Hero and Honda separated, many in the industry wondered whether Hero will manage to uh, really grow and survive. And Pawan really has shown a lot of vision in bringing Hero where it is. Mr. Shin from, uh, from Kia, I think if uh, Howard was to do a case study on how to enter a new country with all the right preparation, Kia's entry into India would be right up there. They've done right in terms of building the brand, the product they brought in, the marketing they've done, the manufacturing, everything they've done right. So congratulations for the award, very well deserving. And Pratap, good friend. Yeah. I think it's uh, probably the first time that a designer has come into the Person of the Year Award for World, World, World Award. And here. And very well deserving, uh, very well deserving. And I can clearly say that Tata's have turned the corner when it comes to design. So all three very well deserving awardees. I want to uh, obviously thank you, Sid, Car and Bike, for giving me this honor of Padam Sresta Award. Uh, I've been, or I've served this industry for 42 plus years, last 28 wow. with Mahindra. And for me, it's been an amazing journey, filled with gratification, satisfaction, fulfillment. I entered the Indian auto industry in 1993, and since that time, 27 years ago, the passenger vehicle segment has grown, I think, 14x. The SUV segment has grown 24x. The motor car, the, the two-wheeler segment has grown some 12x. At that time, there were eight models in SUVs. Today, there are 54 models. And if you look at the award categories, you would see that SUVs had more categories than sedans and hatchbacks combined. So that's how far we have come. But if you have to leave the numbers aside and look at how the offerings have changed, the quality of the product, the technology that goes into it, the design that we are doing today, the emission levels, the safety levels, uh, the supply ecosystem development that has happened in India. All of this has been just an amazing journey for the Indian automotive industry and those who have been with the industry for the last 10, 15, 20, 25 years have thoroughly enjoyed it. Many challenges during this time, the slowdowns that we have seen, but the resilience of the automotive industry in India has been just mind-boggling. We have always come back up from whatever has really plagued us. And I've been proud to be a member of this industry for the last 27 years and glad that I've been able to make a small contribution to this industry. But I would also like to say that the industry hasn't yet achieved its full potential. There's a lot that industry has to do in local value addition, a lot this industry can do in exporting from India, and a lot that industry can do in terms of the, uh, the, the market development in India. And if the government and the industry, with the help of the media, work together, I think this industry can really, really play a very big role in making India reach its aspiration uh, where it wants to be in the world stage. So the us old timers, as we leave the industry, and as you perhaps know that I'll be retiring in about 12, 13 days. Uh, so as we leave the industry, it's for the youngsters to take the industry forward and achieve all the dreams that we had that we couldn't achieve. <laughs> numerous colleagues uh, in Mahindra, numerous colleagues in the industry have really helped me what I say help me to rise. And I really thank you all and accept this award, this honor, with all the humility and dedicate this to all of you who have made me worthy of it. And I leave you with only one thought. The responsibility that you have is not just to your company. It's also to the industry that you are in. It's also to our country and it's also to the world. The automotive industry can make the world a better place to live. Thank you very much. Again, thank you, Sid, for the honor that you've given.